welcome again to the big match. And our lineup today brings the pictures of the biggest talking points of this weekend of league football. Because our main match today is between strugglers Tottenham and Stoke City. And we're going to back that up with a match they're all talking about. Manchester United against West Ham. And there are more goals and thrills coming your way as Leeds face Leicester City. Your letters too, of course, and some goalkeeping advice this week from the great Pat Jennings. But first we move off to White Hart Lane for the match between Spurs and Stoke City. Spurs lying 21st in the table, desperate for points, and this is the side they field. Jennings in goal, a back four of Osgood, Naylor, Young and Gorman. Hoddle, Perryman and Coates in midfield. Taylor, Moores and Conn up front. McAllister as the substitute and John Pratt is dropped. Nobody keener to do well, of course, than the Tottenham striker Ian Moores, now playing against his old Stoke City teammates, and this is the Stoke side that he'll be facing. Peter Shilton in goal, Lumsden, Bloor, Smith and Bithell, Waddington, Dodd, Alan Hudson and Conroy, and up front, Tudor and Crooks, and the substitute is Marsh. And a relative newcomer to the Stoke side is 20-year-old Steve Waddington. He's the son of the Stoke City manager, Tony Waddington, and Tony, in fact, has just taken his seat in the director's box. There he is, chewing away in the centre of the front row there. The referee today is John Homewood. He comes from Middlesex. And the crowd is just over 22,000. So Stoke City get us away. They're attacking the goal to our right. The red and white striped shirts, white shorts, red stockings. Spurs in white with black shorts. A match of crucial importance to Tottenham, lying 21st in the table. They might just find that Stoke are a little bit vulnerable uh, here this afternoon. No away wins at all this season for the uh, team from the Potteries. In fact, they've only ever won once at White Hart Lane, and that was in 1975. Now without Mike Pedgick, an able defender who's suspended, and of course without Jimmy Greenoff, who's gone to Manchester United. It really is uh, an ideal chance for Spurs to ease some of their worries this afternoon. That's Biffle giving it straight away to Peter Taylor. Flicked on there for Ian Moores. Here's Taylor again. Gorman, new lad from Carlisle. Scott, Ralph Coates restored to the side. So Coates with a throw. Alfie Conn flicking it on. And wicked away by Biffle. Peter Taylor bounced favourably for him. Glenn Hoddle's gone outside him. That's the cross for him. Moore's going in, and he had a great chance there. Well, Moore's had a great chance with only a minute and a quarter gone as that ball came floating in from Peter Taylor. He thought quicker than any of the Stoke defenders, but unfortunately for him and Tottenham, couldn't find the shot to beat Peter Shilton. Bethel the Conroy. Oh, he committed himself there to Taylor, and it allows Conroy to go past him. Measuring up that cross, a good long one towards Tudor. Willie Young right up there. Waddington trying to turn it back again, but that'll be over the bar. Goal kick. Steve Waddington, that was. And this is Pat Jennings, who had a highly successful testimonial game. On Tuesday night here, 28,000 loyal Spurs fans from far and wide turned up to pay tribute to him. Osgood will take. Willie Young right up there. Peter Taylor. Like the old Peter Taylor style. Oh, and Shilton was under a lot of pressure there. Now for Moore's turn on it. He hits it. And Coates is there and hits the crossbar. Coates and Willie Young between them. It was Taylor's break that made it. And it was Moore's who uh, almost got a shot in. Coates and Willie Young who together hit the crossbar. Stoke survived. Well, Coates was so very close. And it was certainly Peter Taylor's beautiful work down that right touchline that opened everything up for Tottenham.
They really haven't seen the best of this filly yet. It's, it's been a worry for him. He scored a goal, certainly, uh, on his first appearance at, uh, for Spurs at West Brom. Moores played well. John Gorman. Coates. I've always liked Ralph Coates, and there's Moores getting there for that one, but uh, couldn't quite knock it back for Hoddle. Bithell's clearance. Osgood. Spurs pushing forward a bit now. Here's Hoddle again. A beautiful ball played for Con. Across the goal and just wide. who made that uh, half chance for Alfie Conn, a beautifully played ball for Conn, and Conn hitting it across the face of the goal, just a little too far ahead of Ian Moores. Now Dodd, now a chance for Stoke City to break. That's too high and it's a goal kick. either. Coates, followed up by Lumsden. I don't know why he didn't play the simple ball back to Gorman then. for Moores, played nicely by Ian Moores that time. Here's Taylor again. Now for Osgood. And he's got the cross in well. Oh, and Hubble was just the way to the mark. Good swinging move again by Tottenham, though. As Osgood took up the running on the right-hand side, just got his cross in, and Hoddle had made tremendous strides, but uh, was wide of the mark. with a chance now to get that one away for Stoke City. But Conn was roaring through there, having beaten uh, Law, and Shilton came out in the nick of time. Dodd. Oh, and now is that falling for Conn? Yes! No, and he hit the post! Well, when you're in trouble, things just do not go right for you. That long back pass. The long back pass fell for Alfie Codd. And Shilton came at him. And I think the referee might even have thought there was a penalty there, but he played the advantage and did it well. And Conn regained his balance, only to hit the post. No penalty and no goal. Jones of Birmingham when he uh, gave the referee a bit of ironic applause a few weeks ago. It's Peter Taylor for top. Uh, Willie Young had gone up there, but it didn't begin to reach him, and it means he's away from the back now, but it won't matter because Conroy couldn't keep it in. Tremendous goal. Ever from the moment 
uh, since the moment that Coates let that ball go from the uh, throw-in, and Pon showed all the skill of a juggler and put it through for Moores to hit it first time. Applause all the way round for that beautiful bit of skill, but disappointment too for Spurs fans as it went. That's the half-time whistle, and Spurs, for all their good intentions, and for their good play as well, going at 0-0. Alfie Kahn, so unlucky having gone round Peter Shilton once to hit a post, and then with an amazing juggling act almost set up a spectacular goal for Ian Moores. Having a word of complaint there for the referee about someone who uh, was diving in the penalty area for some reason. Well, Alfie Kahn goes off, Spurs go off, and a lot to come from this match, I uh, suspect, and certainly from the rest of the big match today. A half-time score then at White Hart Lane. Spurs nil, Stoke City nil. We'll be right back. So, welcome back to White Hart Lane. Spurs now attacking the goal to our right. And nobody could argue that they had anything other than the much the better of that first half. Having hit the woodwork twice. But in fact, they've won only one of their last 11 games with the ground where they were always feared. They've won only two out of eight at home. Coates now with the throw for Tottenham. Gorman turning that one in and Smith. Now Holland. Perryman diving in there, but Crooks will get it away now. Waddington. Now Hoddle once more. Too far ahead for Ian Moores. Waddington. Crooks. And Hudson. Waddington. Brought down by Taylor, free kick. Hudson with the free kick, curling in again there, a long way for Jennings. said the referee, here's Waddington. Stopped by Hoddle. That's a top and throw. And Moore's hurt in that challenge with Dennis Smith. Ian Moore's is going on. Turn this back for Tottenham. That's a corner. So Coates with the corner for Spurs. Loaded in once more towards Osgood. Spurs 1, Stoke City 0, with four minutes of the second half goal. That's Keith Osgood's fifth goal of the season, and you could say it's the first real genuine one, the other four have come all from the penalty spot. Well, our last game here against Everton, in the big match here, Don McAllister came in with exactly the same goal, a corner from the same spot, and he did exactly the same job. Osgood 
getting it away now to keep it tight. That maybe will enable Spurs to relax a little bit in their play. Just need to say their concentration's got to relax. Pons, guided header to Perriman. Now John Gordon. Coates on the far side. Referee uh, eventually leading to stop it. Tried for all he was worth to keep the game going. And by the way, that Terry Conroy threw that ball away, I can only assume that he's given a free kick to Tottenham. Now it's a drop ball. And Coates was quick at a spot, that possibility. Con going in. And now Hunt. Shelton really under fire there as that ball came out to Huddle and he whacked it left foot just a foot too high. Perryman, the young now a bit of space here for Peter Taylor. Now can he get it back? Awful work by Shelton. Willie Young found Peter Taylor in a bit of space, gathering confidence as he gathered pace. And Shilton equal to the call. concentration at a very high level they lost it as we saw the last time we came here on the big match when they were 3-1 up against Everton and lost two goals in the last five minutes here's Taylor curled in once more towards Ian Moores it'll come now for Coates hit well and saved fluently there by Peter Shilton Coates turning and hitting it on the volley and a flying save from Peter Shilton Coates Played for Hoddle. Well, that'll come straight to Waddington, but Osgood is in there. Did very well, Keith Osgood. Now, a nice little touch there for Alfie Kong. Is this number two? No, it's not yet anyhow. Some tremendous defensive play by Alan Dodd for Stoke City. Osgood putting Kong through, and he wriggled his way. It looked to be into a shooting position. Good defence by Alan Dodd, though. and still contrived to get that between Taylor's legs. Now it's uh, Willie Young. Con. Taylor. Hoddle right up. Finds me furious to play on this side of the field. And given an indirect free kick to Tottenham, Glenn Hobble now taking this free kick, loading it there towards well, penalty given. Foul on William and a chance for Keith Osgood, I would imagine, to get his second goal. As that one came into the middle there, Willie Young went up for it. I think it must have been Terry Conroy. And the referee right on the spot and had no hesitation in pointing to that spot. So, Keith Bosgood, who has scored four times from the spot previously this season. And has scored the goal already today that puts Spurs 1-0 into the lead. Has a chance now to make it 2-0. Osgood versus Shilton. that he believes in blasting them and even a goalkeeper as good as Shilton could never reach a shot like that well he really does believe in hitting them Spurs 
to Stoke City nil. Halfway through the second half. game Dodd played inside for Conroy a block by Willie Young but only at the expense of a corner Dodd looked very menacing indeed there and he's had a marvellous game for Stoke City Alan Hudson with the corner Crooks with the header Jennings with the catch Side for Con. Sternly but fairly challenged there by Alan Bloor. Here's John Tudor. This all to Tudor. Free kick. The foul by Con. Hudson. Lumsden. Cross towards Dennis Smith. Noticeable how he'd stayed up there. Just got three at the back at the moment, Stoke. Waddington. Oh, it might come for Waddington. He's gone past Jennings, but he won't be able to turn it back. Yes, he could. Oh, and Dennis Smith completely missed his kick. An open goal as Waddington miraculously turned it back. And Smith missed his kick. Oh, Hollow. 
way through. Played on for Ralph Coates. Can this be number three? Beautifully saved by Shilton. Lovely bit of play again by Spurs going forward. Hoddle releasing that ball at just the right moment for Coates. And Shilton again, a magnificent save. Coates with the corner. Held in again towards Keith Osgood. Now when it comes to Willie Young. Oh, no. He's a very good defender, but that really demanded just a little too much of him. The ball was dropping uh, too slowly for him, really. Into injury time now. Here's Coates. Willie Young right in there. Alan Hudson only half getting it away, but the final whistle's gone. And two very, very good points for Tottenham, which they well deserve. Both their goals coming from Keith Osgood, one a header from a corner, the other from the penalty spot. Uh, but to my mind, perhaps the best player on the field, certainly in terms of midfield skills, was the Stoke City number 10, Alan Hudson. And with him there, the number 11 for Spurs, you saw Peter Taylor, who probably had his best game for Spurs since he joined them from Crystal Palace. So a final score line then at White Hart Lane, Spurs 2, Stoke City 0. So two priceless points for Tottenham. Uh, they deserve them, as I say. They did play well. It was a good game, too. And I think worth mentioning that neither trainer was on the field at any time in the 90 minutes. The two-goal hero, Keith Osgood. And after the game, I spoke to him. I must say, whenever I've seen Spurs this season, I've always got the impression that, that you've played better than your position in the table indicates. Um, that you don't look a bad side, do you? No, we're playing well, but the breaks haven't gone for us. You know, last week, Alfie took a shot hit the post, hit the other post and come out. Usually, it was another team or so, hit the post and gone in. Yeah. Mind yes. you, that was a story of the first half here, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, Willie Young. His volley at the crossbar and come out. And Alfie went past Peter Shilton hit the post. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But then you came up and scored your, your goal, which, in fact, was almost a replica of the one that Don McAllister scored when we were last here against Everton. In from the corner, diving in and... Uh... That's right, well, Don wasn't playing, so I usually come up from the right and he comes up from the left. Because he won't play, and I come up for both of them. And uh, they just went in. So Coates with the corner for Spurs. Floating in once more towards Osgood! <laughs> then we came to the penalty. I think Stoke uh, argued that it was a little on the harsh side, but I think John Homer was well placed to see it. Well, as Glenn Hoddle lifts this ball into the Stoke penalty area, watch out for the challenge by Terry Conroy on Willie Young. I think Willie makes a bit of a meal of it, but look how well the referee is placed as well. What's your technique of taking penalties? I wouldn't like to say, really. <laughs> you certainly don't believe in side-footing them? No, not always. What was it? You, you were telling me, though, that Peter Shilton uh, looked as though he wanted you to put it one way. Yeah, well, it was kind of like a uh, cat and mouse between the both of us, but um, it went in, and it was well placed. Yeah, he was giving you uh, one side to shoot at, but you said, no, to hell with no. that, you shot the other side. That's right, yeah. yeah. Has there been a lot of pressure on the players, on, on young players um, like yourself in the, in the defence, with the way the results have been going? Not really, no. We just want to do well, you know, and get the club out of the position it is now. You don't feel any great pressure? No. But this will do you the world of good, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. The lads are singing in the bath at the moment. They're singing in the bath? Yeah. Peter Taylor, I thought, played as well. I mean, you would have seen every game he played, and we don't see every game. But, I mean, that was presumably as good a game as he's played since he joined them from Crystal Palace. I think Palace. that's his best he's played since he's been to the club from Crystal Palace. He's, you know, he was coming back and helping me out more than he did last week. I think he enjoyed it more playing today than he has done in past weeks. Big smile on his face all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's always a character. He even had the cheek to dribble around the linesman down there. I don't know whether yeah. you saw that as well. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. Alfie Conn, when he came into the studio, said that he couldn't see any way that Spurs would go down. Are you as optimistic as that? Yeah, no way we're going to go down this year. Why is that? I think we've got the spirit to get us up from where we are now. You know, the team's got a good spirit at the moment. Keith Osgood of